and welcome back to Between Us Girlies. I'm Bran. I'm Lindsay. I'm Bailey. I'm Casey. And I am so excited for today's episode. As you will all notice for the viewers, we are holding a glass of wine. For our first time ever, we are going to be drinking on this podcast and some of us might be drinking more than others. But more (laughs) on that later because today we need to start the episode off with our girly quote of the day. Today's quote comes from Miss Phaedra Parks. You might know her from The Real Housewives. This quote, however, was said in season two, episode six of The Traders. And it is, it goes, I do too much because you do too little. And that perfectly summarizes this week's episode because we're about to do either a whole lot or a whole little, depending on what people don't want to talk about. So today we are playing Sip or Spill. Some of you might know it as truth or drink, but we're calling it Sip or Spill. Where the four of us were prompted by you guys on our Instagram. Make sure you follow Between Us Girlies Pod on Instagram. And you guys put in some steamy questions. And we will be asking each other these questions. And if we refuse to answer, we'll be having a little bit of a sip. So if you're not watching this one on YouTube, highly recommend you switch over. But we will announce if we are choosing to sip or we're choosing to Mm -hmm. spill. And I am going to kick it off if everyone's ready yeah. to get yeah. into. I think everyone at home should play along too. Grab yeah. a drink and like absolutely. Yeah. And my question goes to Miss Bailey. Bailey, <laughs> <laughs> I took a sip beforehand. I'm sorry. Sip your drink or spill your worst date story ever. Um, I can stay it. It wasn't. I want to say how I was asked out on the date, and okay. I didn't go to this date. Because I knew it was going to be bad. I remember I was at Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> no good story starts with no. that sentence. And it was when I started doing my like 5 a.m. workouts. And I remember it's 5 a.m. and like this guy's hitting on me, whatever. We're texting. And he was like, I forgot what it was because it was so long ago. But he asked for the first date to be at Cuddy's. But Cuddy's, McGill Cuddy's in Maniunk. It's like a little dive bar. But the problem was he said, we need to go on 50 cent wing night. And like half mm. off pitchers. He kept, I'm like, all right, not this week. Then the next week, how about this Wednesday for 50 Cent Wings? I never said I liked wings, nor did I like beer. I do like both. But it just kept doing it to the point where I said, all right, I'm so sorry. He's like, you know what? Peace out then. Oh, my and I'm God. Just like, he was just so persistent. In the time, it was, like, funny, but it was just like. Do we know this man? No, he was at Planet Fitness. Right. <laughs> like, I mean, if he's trying to take you out a date on a budget, he could have, like, once you said no to the wings, he could have altered to, like. I don't know Half any other pizza. yeah like not there's really trivia else. night no nothing at Cuddy's is gonna break the bank That's I'm gonna be t- completely <laughs> honest on a good day a bad day 50 cent wings like that is whew. and I'm not shaming the date or anything but it just he was very persistent on the specific day for the half off wings yeah and pictures I'm like oh, that's pretty bad yeah that's yeah. too much mm. do you want to go next I guess <laughs> I have a question for you Brandon oh <laughs> I've okay. wanted to ask this one for a while oh uh, sip or spill or whatever it was. How long did it take you to realize that I, Bailey Witherspoon, have a nose ring? Oh my God. Okay. Bailey has a very dainty nose ring. It is beautiful. Um, I am so distracted by your other beautiful Bullshit. features <laughs> that sometimes I forget it is there. And when did I notice? Last Se- year? No, senior year oh. of college for four years. Okay. We were friends. She H- said, oh, when did you get your nose pierced? When I was 16. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Fine. I'll sip and spill on that one since that was my bad. <laughs> but I can ask a real question. Who? <clears throat> <clears throat> Lindsay. I knew this was coming. <laughs> spill about the worst mistake you made at work or take a sip of your drink. Ooh. <laughs> Boy, do I have a plethora to choose from. I'm going to sip because I don't like to mix business with pleasure. Classy That's fair. This is business. So, oh. my question. I think I'm going to throw it to Bailey. My heart is pounding. Is you anyone else so like, nervous. Oh, my God. Why am I so nervous today? I'm going to ask you to tell your most embarrassing sex story. Now, remember, you can sip or you can spill. <laughs> yeah, you look nervous. It's, it's not. I can't. My mother watches this. A lot of adults watch this. I can't. It's a good call. It's nasty. So Bailey's gonna sip. I'm gonna sip this one. I'm sorry, everybody. I don't know where you could tune in to find out the answer, but I probably won't say it on here. <laughs> <laughs> the cotton round. 
<laughs> that one, that cotton round story. Why don't we just throw it to Casey since she hasn't said anything yet? Maybe, maybe her I'm a sip on that one too. <laughs> oh. Okay, to the group. Have you cheated? And if you have, spill the tell the details or sip your drink. I'm graduated now, so I could say this all through college. <laughs> Not a relationship wise. I know that was your question, but <laughs> test maybe papers maybe. But no, I am a faithful woman. Oh, good for you for getting a response without giving the real response. Okay, I haven't cheated. I'm no, not, I know, yeah. but that was funny how you tied in the test stuff. Okay, mm-hmm. I see you. I have not cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I have cheated on tests, yeah. but yeah. no, not in a relationship. No. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to feel a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay sip. is sipping on that one. Lindsay is sipping. I feel like someone's like holding a gun to my back. No, like I'm so scared right <laughs> now. Like, it's such a free Should we just company. go around this way, Bailey? Do you want to ask one next? Because mm. oh. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> my arms are to my sides. Um, ooh, this is cute. Sip your drink or spill about what you think is the most overrated bar in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You asking that to the group? Yeah, I would love to know. I feel like everyone has kind of the same answer. Hmm. Who wants oh, to Oh wait, this did one I first? say underrated or overrated? Overrated. Oh, okay. I I think I have a new perspective and I'm going to say bar stool. Wow. I know that that's hard for the listeners. You hear are that, you Barry? This, are you putting this on record? I'm I'm putting it on the record. This has nothing to do with Barry. He's an excellent bouncer <laughs> and I would give him whatever he needs. <laughs> Honestly, all the employees. Yes, we love the bar stool employees. It's the bar stool clientele that I realized last weekend is it's not for me and it, it's at this point it's overrated i don't if i never went again i i would be okay mm-hmm. it's a hard it's like breaking up it's hard but it's necessary uh, yeah i think it's breaking up i'm getting older mm-hmm. yeah i have an easy answer okay no no i don't oh. think it's i don't think it's overrated oh. but there are some that people is- who live in this city that believe that noto is a fun place to be and listen if you have fun there, knock yourself out. But mm. it is the worst place to be in Philadelphia. I think you should. Tell I the second the, that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think you should tell the listeners about the, the young man who was very <laughs> excited to go to Noto. Oh my! This is a perfect description of like the clientele that Noto brings. <laughs> I was out somewhere and I ran into this guy who like we semi knew. We were stuck in one of those situations, almost as if we were in an elevator and you're like forced mm-hmm. to talk. We were just in one of those situations in the room that we were in where we were forced to stand next to each other. And he was like, yo, you guys want to go to Noto after this? <laughs> and me and my boyfriend were just staring at him. And he was like, me and my boys are going to get a bottle. You want to come to Noto? And we just weren't even answering him. I was genuinely like trying to see if he was joking. And he was like, nah, the boys are hitting, are hitting my phone. Like, we're going to go soon. It's going to be lit there. There's a bottle. And I was like, I will never go to Noto again. I don't care if they host our live podcast show. You three can do it without me. I am not going. I'll be so for real. I got COVID at Noto, so uh, I'm good. Also, I'm good on that. Was that the night we saw DJ Pauly D? That we was saw DJ Pauly D and after I got COVID. No, that was the night I remember mm-hmm. I, you guys were not on my side. You guys said, I think Bailey should go home. Oh. No, I've never. And, and do you want to give the viewers some context? I slipped. <laughs> slipped. I Take slipped. Take a drink, Bailey. This was Take that. Oh my god! Yeah, I forgot you guys about were not. That. I remember you guys were like, they hate me. I was like, they have never said this to me to tell me to go home from drinking. I felt. I sobered up in a second. I said, absolutely not. It's crazy that you got COVID, Brandon, because me and Lindsay were sharing a random bottle from a we table were, we did not know, and we were just sick. sipping it like from the bottle to our lips. Oh, is that when I got COVID? Yeah, we were. Bailey got COVID too. <laughs> Bailey got COVID too. So lucky you guys, because me and Bailey got it. We beat the odds. Oh my God, wait. <laughs> I tell the story about my YouTube channel, the thing you said on my video. No. Oh my God. <laughs> wait, I'm sipping for that because I know exactly what you're going to say. Mm-mm. Okay, who's up next? <laughs> Wait, is it me? No, I said the question, so it's yeah, Lindsay. It's oh. you, Lindsay. Oh my God, it's Lindsay's me. already drunk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants She's to believe Lindsay. Ass. Okay, Brandon, <laughs> fine. It will go to you. Oh. Oh. Which girly makes the worst choices and why? <laughs> Sip or spill? And which girlie makes the best choices? Bina, come out your fucking Do, Double question. I am going to sip. Yes! <laughs> there is no, there is nothing good that could come of this. Mm-mm. Anyone else want to answer the question? I'd like to hear about myself. <laughs> 
Sorry, Kent. That's a good question. Yep. <laughs> that's fucked. Sorry, I'm just cussing a lot. There's no way episode. we thought any of us were going to answer that. That that should have just been I able to answer it. Well, I thought okay, it you want to answer it? <laughs> no, I'm all set on that. I'm gonna <laughs> this one goes to the group. Tell the viewers about the most shameful thing you've done for money or sip your drink. <laughs> for money? Hmm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Act like we're tricking. <laughs> what? <laughs> <On your home. laughs> uh, we got some sick viewers at home. I know. Hmm. I'm debating if I want to take that sip. Yeah. No, please. I really want to know. <laughs> this is like PG, and I feel like a lot of people in America do it. <laughs> Just took a picture of the soles of my feet mm-hmm. and gave it to some male who liked soles of feet. I got some cash. You know what? I would have done it too. It's, mm-hmm. a ta- it's not a tax write off. You would so do like, it too for a check. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. So that's, I've done that. Thank you for owning that. <laughs> yeah. I'll be sipping. Yeah, I'm going to be sipping on that's that. That's crazy. Well, I don't even know how to answer it. What have you done? You sip your drink. <laughs> <That's> nasty. <laughs> Sorry. Getting a little flushed. Casey, you're up. This one is sort of targeted at you, Brandon, but it could really be for all God, of us. I feel like I'm on the hot seat. And you will after this question. Oh, <laughs> no. Tell us your worst encounter with an influencer. Mm, Do I have name. to say who the influencer is? No, but you, you yeah. don't have to say who the influencer is. And the, the clue can be vague, but you have to give like one, not even clue, just you have to like okay. paint a picture of the situation. Okay. Well, Lindsay was there. Mm. So don't say the person's name, but she can attest. We were at a New York Fashion Week party. I saw this influencer that I genuinely thought we were friends. And I think the general public would have also said those two people are friends. That's all I'm going to say. This person walked right by me and I screamed their name. I was like, hey, they stopped, looked me up and down and went, Mm-mm. For the viewers at home, I'm just giving a half smile and a wave. And I said to myself, okay, we're at New York Fashion Week, kind of crazy. Maybe they're just overwhelmed and stressed. Later in the night, we end up at the exact same table. They will not look at me, not ask me how I've been, nothing. Mm-hmm. And it just like left a really bad taste in my mouth because the first time like I saw how different someone was acting when they were around other people. Mm-hmm. And that's all I'm going to say. But after that, I've really, really learned some few things about who pretends to be your friend, whether it's they're your friend online or they're your friend when you're doing them a favor mm-hmm. or participating in something. And then who's actually your friend when there's other people in the room. This person is terrible. <laughs> Horrible. Terry cloth. <laughs> <laughs> it really is like gross when you see how people like only focus on clout chasing or just like impressing the right people in whatever context mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. It really is like a gross situation. And it just sucks realizing that. It really just yeah. sucked. Like I yeah. genuinely thought this person was so cool. I was like, oh, we're friends. I was like, it, it, and they were someone that I had followed and looked up to for a really long time. So it, it really sucked to find out that that's what they were like. Damn. Yeah. I haven't had any. I don't really go to events. I know you. I had one, not necessarily with like a big influencer, but at my old job for a month, it was like the very cool new place to be in Philadelphia. And like everybody wanted to go there and it was not exclusive, but you kind of had to know someone to figure out what was going on. And I had this one influencer who was so rude to me and gross. And then as soon as she found out that I worked there, she was like the nicest person ever Mm. to me in my DMs. She was always trying to get invited and it was a really weird situation. Um, And then actually when things started at my old job to get bad, I had run into her somewhere and I was like venting and I'm like, oh my God, by the way, like, you know, this place is trash, X, Y, Z. And the next Monday I found out that she tried to take my job. She messaged someone at my job and was like, hey, if this person leaves, just so you know, I'm looking for a job. Uh, See me after class. That's mm. crazy. I need details. I was, Hell I like, no. my jaw was on the ground when, and we, they talked about it in our Monday meeting. They were like, oh, by the way, this person just asked, and I was like, oh. like the wind was knocked out yeah. of me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, you're up, B. Don't look at me like that. Don't <laughs> do that. Um, this is great. I feel like, Lindsay and Casey have good answers for this. Maybe you too. Um, so everyone answer out your own. Wait, where's that? Tell us a time you were actually scared for your life mm. or take a sip. Mm. You want to go first? I'll 
I'll let you take this one. I just talked. This is a long story that I'm going to make short. I went to visit Brandon on his master's program study abroad in Milan. It was an excellent time. And before going, I didn't want to go by myself because he had class. I messaged a friend who was a travel agent. That's a key point of the story. I said, do you want to go to Italy? And she was like, oh my God, hell yeah. So awesome. We book our flights. We go to Italy. We're having food, fun, festivities. I don't like to drink when I go to places where I can't speak the language because I'm terrified of being trafficked. So I like to be coherent. But one night, Brandon was like, we're going to go out. We're going to get bottles at this place. We're going to have fun. So that was my one night to act a fool. And boy, did I. My friend who was there with me, she was sitting at the club and she was smoking a cigarette with this girl. They were buddy buddy to the point where I thought they were going home together. I didn't know if my friend was into that, but I was going to let her shine. So I said, you're a travel agent. You travel solo all the time. I'm going to go home with my friend Brandon and you're going to stay here with this girl who you're going to hook up with. Cool. Hours go by. Brandon is blacked out. It is one of the most blacked out <laughs> I've ever seen him. Not part of the story. He is lying in his bed, just laughing at nothing, waking up every now and then. I decided to FaceTime a man, and my entire phone battery was at, it, it was just plummeting. I would say 15% at this point. It's a key part of the story. I look around, and I'm like, man, it's like 6 a.m. Like, where is my friend? And Brandon, I said, I'm going to go look for her. I noticed that her fine friends was in the same location that we had just been at. And I was like, I've been on FaceTime for hours. Brandon wakes up from a drunk slumber, and he looks at me, and he goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> Lindsay, do not go find that girl. She's crazy. <laughs> and I should have listened to him. But instead, I took the one sweatshirt that Brandon had because it was raining and I'm a young black woman. I don't want to mess up my hair. I take his one sweatshirt with a hood and I went to go find this girl. <laughs> I'm going to make the story quick. I ended up finding her with a group of mm, six to seven men. None of them spoke English for the listeners. Quotes around speak English. I ended up calling the police. Didn't know the number for 911 because it's not 911. Sat there hysterically panicking. Mind you, I chose a man to run at my battery on my phone. So I had no battery. Mm -hmm. So my phone is dying. I don't know where the hotel is because I don't have the keys for it. I can't find my friend. Brandon's blacked out. The only thing I have is myself and Jesus Christ because he was the only person who was going to get me through this. I find a way to get, to call her. I'm like, you need to come help. Like, you need to give me the keys to, to the hotel. She comes out of an alley. It was like, she. it was Where's Waldo. She popped out of an alley. <laughs> she gives me the keys. And I took the last 2% of my phone battery and I called an Uber. Mind you, in Milan, you have to call Uber Black. So I spent a bag. But I've called an Uber Black home and I went to bed. I called my ex-boyfriend at the time who coached me through and I went to sleep. He literally put me to bed. I wake up to a loud banging on the door. It is a man from the US or from the police station asking me to please come with him to the blah, 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 because my friend is blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, whoa, I'm not going with you. I just escaped six or seven men who don't speak English. If you think I'm getting in your car and you're in plain clothes, you can go. Like, whatever. Oh, he was in plain no, clothes? No, he's in full plain clothes and he's like, you need to get in the car with me. Oh, no. What? I'm almost done. I'm about to, I'm, about, I'm gonna lay in the plane. I call my mother. At that point, I was like, I have to call Steph Anderson. She is frantic. I'm across the Atlantic Ocean in a position where I cannot find my friend. Everything is hitting the fan. I end up calling the U.S. Embassy. This woman, Kim, God bless her heart. She coached me through the whole process. I ended up getting in this guy's car. Brandon, at this point, has woken up from his drunk slumber to calls from my mother, my brother, my father, my ex, me. Oh, Brandon man. is like, what the hell is going on? It's pouring rain. He's like, where's my only sweatshirt with the hood? Uh, <laughs> Lindsay took it. So this man walks to where I am in the pouring rain, soaking wet. Mm-hmm. My friend... Haven't heard from her yet. I don't know where sister is. She finally shows up to the police station. Mind you, I haven't eaten or slept all day and all night. And she, I'm being questioned by all these people. Someone has to translate from English the story, blah, blah, blah. She walks in like nothing's wrong and just goes, hi. I'm sorry, what? Hi? I haven't slept in hours. My friend is suffering. And this, this is all you can say to me? So it was an interesting rest of the trip, but um, God bless Kim at the U.S. Embassy. And that was the first time I felt like I was going to be taken by those men and never returned back to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That story that is- gets me every mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. I love the hoodie part. Like the hoodie, How that's such a good <laughs> poor Brandon was soaking wet. I go, why are you all wet? He goes, I didn't have a hoodie. <laughs> nope. Better you than me. How early into your trip like what day of like the trip was right this? in the middle, which really sucked. Oh. No, no, no. 
no, it was, oh, was mid like to end, the end right? yeah. which was a blessing because I really did have a really nice time with her. It was a really enjoyable trip. But once the ending came, I was like, I got to get the hell up out of here. One thing about me is I'm going to get a vibe. And if you are my friend, I, need a drink. I <laughs> am right. If I tell you that someone is off, listen to me. Where's my proof? It's in my intuition. Have I ever been wrong about somebody? No, you have no, not. No, you've had you have a good track record. Mm-hmm. Whether it comes to boys, <laughs> friends, if I get a weird vibe, I'm speaking about it. <laughs> I I'm love when you do too. I will say, I will write in a group text or I will say it under my breath and be like, mm, watch out for that one. Yeah. It is the Leo <laughs> in me. I am loyal, lying to my friends. If I see one red flag, I'm speaking up on it. Uh-huh. I can't As you hold should. it. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it too. I got mm-hmm. you. Alrighty, everyone. So my question is, sip or spill, what is the best place in Philly to meet a high quality man? Who are you asking? <laughs> I think that's a general question. Yeah. Well, I always say a hotel bar is a great spot to meet a man. The problem is sometimes they're just visiting, but still going there for some chaos. But I got the most validating DM the other day. So every year we go to this thing called Jam. It is a beautiful ball. All the proceeds go to American Cancer Society. And we've now gone the past two years. Mm-hmm. Um, and last year I you know, posted on my story to get tickets because obviously it's charity. I want people to come. And this girl messaged me literally a week ago because I posted about it again because it's coming up in March. And she was like, hi, like, this is so weird. I just want you to know, like, I actually went to this last year because you posted about it and I met my boyfriend there and we've been together for a year. Uh And I was like, so sweet. that's like, honestly, so like, it doesn't surprise me because Mm -hmm. the the guys at this event are hot. And they're good guys. If they're they're going to like a charity event, like, you know that they're the great kind of guy and it's a blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So honestly, check out like charity events, higher cause events. Um, you can meet like to the viewer's person or to the viewer's question, like good quality guys, like mm-hmm. that maybe you're not going to meet at Barstool on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we need to talk about the past two years of jam because yeah. we've been, and they have been an absolute blast. And I've had a smashing good time at all. T- I thought we went three times for some reason. I just feel like I've had such a good time at both. Um, a, you get to dress up in gorgeous, cute cocktail dresses. Like everyone's dressed to the nines. Mm-hmm. It's such a fun day to dress up. There's raffles, the food, <laughs> is uh, I'm a sucker for food as you guys are too. The food is great, desserts are great, the music's banging. There's raffles as well. They're mm-hmm. always playing Soldier Boy, so I'm always on the dance floor. There's a really cute photo booth like the Kim oh, Kardashian yeah. black and oh, white yeah. one. Best photos. Yeah. There. So if you want yeah. a new profile picture, it's really the place to go. <laughs> and like Brandon said, it's honestly for such a good cause. I yeah. mean, it goes to the American Cancer Society. Like it's you meet the nicest guys there who want to donate to a good cause, and I think it's hosted by a. Aspire Life, I think yeah. is what it's mm-hmm. called. Yeah. Um, which is just like a great, like, it's honestly so charity based. And like, yeah. I think that's so sick to. We should, but I'll put the tickets if anyone's interested. I'll put them in um, this episode bio. It's March 9th at the Union Trust this year. Mm-hmm. We're all going, so come hang out with us. But right. yeah, I would say go like branch out if you're trying to meet high quality guys. Like, the reason you're asking high quality is probably because, like us, you're used to dating losers. So <laughs> stop going to the bars. Like, mm-hmm. you're going to meet the same people that you always meet. So go to like a better event, whether it's a, a higher class bar or restaurant bar or honestly these charity galas. And I like, I will say, sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. I, it's great for networking. I feel like I've met girls yes. there or guys yes. there in the past two years. I'm like, oh my God, you would get like, it's every year I get to see the same people and like mm-hmm. I see them outside of jam, which is amazing. And if any of you show up and look better than Bailey, <laughs> I will give you $50 in raffles. And I'm just letting you know, none of you are going to get the $50. I will say this. If I don't win a raffle this year, I'm like going. I'm, I'm done. Like I want to win. There, these raffles, what was it? Last year was like a no, cruise. It is like, oh, yeah. it's vacations, a luxury oh overnight gosh. stay at like some of the most gorgeous Philly there. places. Sports game tickets. Dinners, meet and yeah. greets, concerts. See, I'm usually on the dance floor at this moment. So I never see the raffles. You I to, did not know that my boyfriend was such a dancer until the two jams. Like they're <laughs> oh, yeah. genuinely my favorite memories of him because he eats that dance floor up. And mm. I like the first one, we were kind of early into our relationship and I did not know he could dance like that. And he was like, Almost damn near break dancing on the dance floor. I was like, okay. That was funny. All right. I will turn this one over to the group. 
sip your drink or spill about the worst fight you've had with one of your co-podcast host girlies. So sip your drink (laughs) or share one of your worst fights with Mm -hmm. one of the four people sitting here. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'll be sipping on this one. My me and Keisha was a, a lack of communication when we were at Voyeur. And I don't even remember what to say. So, oh, this was excellent. It was quite literally words were taken out of my mouth or put into my mouth. I asked you, I'm like, oh, we're gonna before Jake, obviously. I was like, oh, we're gonna hook up with this guy. And you're like, no. And I turned to Brandon and I said like something. I was like, oh, she's not hooking up with him. Just like talking. And then Brandon said to you, like something happened where you thought I was talking shit. And we were just, we were all blacked out. And we remember this. start screaming at each other at the top of our lungs of voice. I remember Casey going, don't make comments under your breath, Bailey. Like, oh, the yeah. fuck? I was like, I didn't suck it. Sometimes you make a little. I didn't say shit in that <laughs> moment though. And I was like, open your it was the point I'm like will you just stop and listen to me I didn't say anything and you wouldn't mm-hmm. and I remember tapping you're like nope and I was like alright fuck it yeah but, cause I don't like to talk when I'm bad and mm-hmm. I told you guys I'll find my friends you make a little comment under your breath here and there so I probably I was just like what is she saying and I said I repeated what you said verbatim <laughs> and I was like you know what I'm done we're good now obviously apparently this not <laughs> I didn't even remember that and you had you had ladies and gentlemen they're the, fighting it's the only fight we've ever had <laughs> I and was, I I remember we were screaming at the top of our lungs <laughs> and voyeur, and it's the loudest place on earth. I was literally trying to think of like any fights I've had, like to see which one I would talk <laughs> about, and I can't think of any. That's the only one we've ever. I don't think I've had. We've had like little fights here. I have little tiffs, but I don't. Yeah, I, the only person I've, I've had, had honestly iconic you. drunk fights with all three of you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like maybe I should spill. I've had great ones. Um, Casey and I got into a huge screaming fight scene or no junior year spring break. We were at Malibu on Broadway in Myrtle <laughs> Beach. And I don't even That's remember. Trash. I think we were at Senior Frogs. Oh, right? maybe we were at Senior It was so trashy. <laughs> We were screaming at each other to the point where we had to change locations like six different times. Like it went from the dance floor to the bathroom, to the upstairs, to the downstairs. And this poor guy at one point, like probably thought we were like in an abusive relationship. And he just so politely like came up to us as we were screaming. And he was like, hey, hey, hey. And we both just looked at him in unison. We're like, shut the fuck up. And he was like, geez, all right, like walked away. And after that, we just started cracking up and made up. I will never forget. We were in the middle of the fight and one of the friends that we were with was like trying to take a group picture and we just paused, fake smiled for the photo. And as soon as she got done, we were like, like screaming at each other. If this gets clipped, I think you should put the photo in for everyone to see. (laughs) I don't even know where I like remember I had my old Taylor Swift curls. That's all I remember. But I used to curl my hair like Taylor Swift teardrops on my guitar. Mm -hmm. It was a, a dark time. I liked it. I Any other iconic fight fights with Brandon where it was really, really funny? And we actually just talked about this, but Brandon was actually fighting with you, Casey. And what I can't, I can't remember what it was about, but it was when we all first started becoming like besties. And for the listeners, we're all so close now. If Casey's fighting with Brandon, I'm still friends with Brandon. If mm-hmm. Bailey's fighting with me, Brandon's still friends with Bailey. Like it's, it, you don't, there's no territory anymore. Yeah. But when I first was introduced to this group, I was supposed to be hanging out with Casey and Bailey, and Brandon was all set on that. So he was making other plans. He ended up telling me, I I said to him, I go, I know that you're not banging with Casey right now, but I'm going to go out with her and Bailey. And he was like, please don't do that. So I did it anyway. And Now, who sounds like the bad friend there? (laughs) Well, I was entitled to do my own thing. But I could have been respectful of your feelings. I asked you, and I I, I blatantly did the opposite. Mm-hmm. Crazy. So yeah, I like guess don't I'm ask like, if you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I should have kept it to myself. But I was the cancer in me was like, let me check in. I also was very reasonable too. I was like. It's not like me and Casey aren't going to be friends, but like we're kind of in a weird spot right now. And you had plans with someone else that fell through, and you were like, it "Now didn't I still." Wait, you guys something. remember these specific because details? This you'll remember funny. this Crazy. outside because of the this pod. This was when we talk. funny. Yeah, it turned out we ended up going to a house that we don't speak about, and I was downstairs in the house, and Brandon was upstairs, and the two of us from the balcony where he was standing and from the the bottom where I was standing, we just started mixing. He was telling me I was a terrible friend. I was screaming, Casey's my friend too. It was crazy. Then after She was the, Ron, I was Sam. Are you friends with her? Like literally. And at the end of the fight, Brandon's dumbass came down the steps and he said, 
can I get in your Uber? <laughs> and I said, I'm going to let you in it because we lived in the suburbs. And I, I was not going to leave my brother in Philadelphia, in the middle of Fairmount, yeah. when we lived in Upper Dublin, Pennsylvania. So I said, mm -hmm, I'm not going to leave you here because I'm a good person. But it, it was hilarious. When we were sitting in that car ride home together, it was, is that the car ride home where that Uber driver had a blunt rolled up? And we were just cracking up. No, no. We were on good terms on that one. Okay. <laughs> it does just show, like, after a fight, like, you can literally, in two seconds, we all fight be like, like all right. We yeah, all crack like, up after a fight. it's, fight. like, not, like, really deep shit. No. Like, our fight, it's, like, I don't, I only remember it because it was our quite literally only fight, but it was so, like, looking back, I'm like, it didn't even have to happen. Yeah. yeah. But we were blacked out. It was dark, different time. <laughs> all right, Casey, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Sip or spill. What is one very, very shallow thing physically that you, if you meet someone, will instantly turn you off them in the opposite oh. sex? Oh. Their mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know if it's shallow. I take a hard look at everyone's mouth. Crusty, cold sores, <laughs> like yellow teeth, food in your teeth, <laughs> bad breath, a, a green or orange tongue. Ooh, a green get tongue? away from me. <laughs> it's just a, a whirlwind of bacteria. I don't like that. Mouth, mm -hmm. and I always look at people's fingers. Mm. Mm. It's a good one. That my mm. mom always said, if you look at, like, always keep your hands and, like, mouth together. Because that's, like, first things people look at. And mm. I always look at people's hands. I, like, won't share drinks with some people. I'll be like, you can have it. <laughs> you just bought, like, a $24, $24 espresso martini. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your habit. Enjoy. Oh, I was full. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sip. I don't have a nice way to say anything. <laughs> Please, I'm literally begging no, you. I'm sipping. All right. Well, I guess it's my time. <laughs> um, damn, I had a good one. I literally forgot it. These are good questions. Um, sip or spill? I'm going to ask this to all three of you guys. Figure it out. Um, <laughs> what was your first impression of me? Aww. Well, I told you mine. Mm -hmm. I thought Bailey was this introverted innocent soul i met her at freshman year orientation of college she was in a charlotte ruse kimono i thought she was going to be a book nerd someone that you like go to to like knit a blanket together what? and boy oh boy was that not the case <laughs> thank you thank you very much anybody else you, to me, I always looked at as that girl's crazy. Like, I never saw you in a light where I was like, that girl knits. I was like, that girl, <laughs> that girl is crazy. You always had, like, the most dramatic, like, way about you that I always loved. It, it, it honestly was a place of comfort. I loved it. Mm -hmm. It's still the same. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Um... Brain cells are bad, so I really can't remember the first time meeting y'all, but I'm kidding. Um, Casey already said my first time meeting mm -hmm. her, thought she was a sister. Uh, <laughs> Brandon, I don't think I ever talked about the first time meeting you. Yeah, what did you think of me? I was just happy to meet a friend. <laughs> he was the first person I met at school, and I was just like, he's so fun. Like, I think we were just like, it was just refreshing knowing we were, I had someone else in the same position as me. Like, yeah. I, going to school in Philly, I mean, you're obviously from there, but like, it was just so comforting that I met a friend so fast at orientation and a friend that was so nice and like welcoming and opening, op opening, mm -hmm. open, ar <laughs> open arms, open arms, <laughs> You got it, you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, that was my first impression. Oh, Lindsay, honestly, if it be, I don't remember when we first met. You were a friend who I just would always see, I'd be like, there's that crazy girl, Bailey. I remember it was New Year's Eve though. It's like my oh, first yeah. like real member. Like the New Year's Eve where we all blacked out? Yeah, yes. I was house. blacked out. And I was mm -hmm. in my room on my floor, passed out. <laughs> and I didn't know you. And this is where I almost killed you. You oh, come in with your phone with a flashlight on Snapchat. And I remember in that moment, I took your phone and threw it across my room. Oh, I don't remember this. It was all in good fun. But <laughs> I probably for the, for the listeners, we, me and Bailey and our old roommate threw a New Year's Eve party. It was fun. And at 1130, Blast. I said, midnight. Woohoo. Like we were all so blacked out. I don't remember it turning midnight. I remember at one point.
one point I was laying on the floor of my upstairs just rolling on the ground because like I thought it was funny <laughs> me and Brandon decided to wash our faces together at the end of the night and we were like washing each other's or we were in the bathroom but there's a video of it I don't I've, remember this I, See, I'm not the only no we person. were all so blacked out and we woke up the next morning and I was like oh my god there could be 10 people downstairs Did I don't I really know no Probably. no, oh. no. I then am home? I thinking of I have a video of you and I blacked I out I think I know what you're talking about now <laughs> was that not the same night it might have been mm. can we move on yeah <laughs> I like this you're up Linz okay this question I'm gonna do sip or spill I'm gonna ask it to the group if you had to be trapped in a room for 24 hours with one of us who would you choose and why mind you we've all been drinking and we all have the sillies <laughs> now when you decide it's not me I'd like to know who else you'd like. I to would pick you, Lindsay. I'd pick what? Casey. I'd pick Bailey. We, we both, that makes we, sense. We were roommates. Yeah. You guys yeah. are roommates. Like I would pick Lindsay <laughs> because, like, you just have this really like large faith with God that I think will take us to safety. Like, you'll well, be cracked out it. in the beginning, and like we'll be punchy and laughing, but eventually you'll be like, "All right, we're getting out of here." Like you will. And I also feel like your family will find you. Like, <laughs> I just feel like you will get us to safety the quickest. I, I agree. I think mm. so. I think me and Bailey would just crack yeah. up. Like, we wouldn't even have to have a TV. We could just talk. We all watch the same TV shows. <laughs> yeah. We could talk about our favorite episodes We'd or something. we quoting a movie or something. Mm. And I also don't panic in, like, situations. Mm-hmm. So I've, I've never seen you panic. Because I know it's going to get figured out. If there's ever mm-hmm. a situation, like... It's something. It's gonna get figured out. So there's no reason wow. to panic about something. Mm-hmm. I've seen you irritated and irritable, but mm-hmm. I've never seen you like you guys. I've not seen Bailey it. panicked once. When was it? <laughs> this episode. <laughs> Bailey, as we've discussed, you can tell me to stop sharing the story of it, but I think it's funny. I'm gonna. Bailey is a pro at getting high. She has never once been affected. I'm always the anxious person. There was one time. Which time was Cinco it? de Mayo, oh. senior year, <laughs> where it's the only time in my damn near 10 years of friendship that Bailey told me that she may have smoked a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> and we are at a house party and we are going down the stairs. <laughs> and I video. turn around and Bailey is going down the stairs on her buttocks. She is <laughs> sliding down because she cannot stand up. And she just looks at me, she goes, I just want this to be over. <laughs> I want it to be over so bad. And I was like, oh, I've never seen you like this. Like, that's usually me who's in pain. I, I remember the video too, because I'm wearing a tube dress <laughs> and these big heels. And I was like crying on the way downstairs. I felt so bad too, because I was taking so many videos. I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that would have been horrible for me. <laughs> All right. This is to the group. Share your specific Thoughts on threesomes. Can't just say your body. You have to like give a little more or sip your drink. For the listeners, I will be sipping my beverage. <laughs> I think my thoughts are probably just three words, not for me. Mm. Um, there's just a whole lot going on. I, I just feel like I'm better off focusing on one person. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not one good on at one. the whole multitasking. That's my thoughts. I'm going to piggyback and agree. Yeah. Yeah. And if M. Not for me. I need some more wine, though. Can someone pass me the bottle? I sure can't. Awesome. These pants are tight. Who's the closest? Thank you, Casey. Someone ask who's the most helpful, and I'll say Casey. (laughs) Fine. We'll show the YouTube viewers me losing my pants. No, the YouTube viewers, look at the distance between Brandon and Casey and Brandon and Lindsay. You could have just kicked your pants. These pants are tight. I could have also done it myself. And after you're done with that, can you pass it this way? Oh, I lost my straw. Viewers, don't look at me. Oh, this my bad. I forgot there's other nice. people here. <laughs> <laughs> the way it just poured. I'll do a little drop. Okay, who's next? Bailey oh, is. Me. Was she prepared? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> the liquor is flowing. No, there's a lot of things going on right now. Oh, hold on. Let me get my, my shit right. Um, <laughs> it's crazy to me. No, I'm kidding. No, I know, I know. Um, this is crazy. Reader sip. I mean, spiller sip. Oh, you drunk? <laughs> I just can't read. I'm just like, I'm just dyslexic. Uh, read the last message in your phone oh. to a male. I'm not going. Uh, let me see, and then I have to decide if I'm sipping or spilling. Like any male? No, Mine's po- so easy. I told my boyfriend, I didn't know if I locked my car. He said, it's okay, I got you, babe. Um... <laughs> 
My dad texted me, yo. <laughs> That's his signal to tell me that he's at my door. So there's mine. <laughs> there's someone who wants to do a girlies thing with us, and he said, we can Zoom about it mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. my end. Mm-hmm. All right. That All right. Nothing that good. Anticlimactic. <laughs> if we can go out of order, <laughs> piggybacking off of that question. It is your turn. If Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Every person mm-hmm. type in. No. Oh, no, Lindsay. <laughs> okay, never mind. Wait, no, 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 do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Everybody type in the word Lindsay on their phone and read the last message that comes up. Now y'all better be careful. (laughs) Wait, I remember we were playing this game one time and I like slipped up and I read some shit. And it was about the person we was fucking. Mine is to my therapist. And I said, you wouldn't want to take my roommate Lindsay on as a client, would you? (laughs) (laughs) I need her. Mine says, no worries. Lindsay's asleep anyways, LOL. I need to skim through some stuff, but oh. it's all it's uh uh-uh. uh it's all chats that Lindsay is in or would know about. Oh, I just true. can't talk about them on the podcast. Name, it literally pops up. Oh, you um, her. <laughs> okay, this one's so easy. That's so weird. Lindsay asked me that last night. Oh, okay. You all are safe for now, but we're gonna talk hmm. about what that was about after this. We have a lot to discuss, Casey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, to the group. Sip your drink or spill to everyone which girly has the worst taste in men. I dare you guys. <laughs> oh, I thought it was me. Oh, I, Excellent. No. We can compete for the top spot. Man. I'm going to sip. <laughs> all right, y'all are sipping fine. I was going to say it. No, I'm Wait, I'm, say it. I'm just kidding. I was going to take a cop out and say we all have different tastes, so it really is, doesn't count. I mean, oh, she's I right. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we will never right. fight over a man. Maybe Bailey and Brandon will fight because they have similar tastes, but mm. we don't like the same man. <laughs> 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 we have fun in the past. Tell the tell the audience. No, I just think people just need to forgive and forget. <laughs> okay, we'll end it on that note. Mm-hmm. We'll end my question on that note. Casey, you're up. Since no one wants to answer me, <laughs> I have a great one. Which this is to all y'all. Which girly do you think is the most difficult to date? Spill your answer or sip your drink. Okay, I'll spill my answer. It's a toss up between Casey and Lindsay. And I will explain why. Lucky the reason you, that I could not date Casey is because Casey is very stubborn. Mm-hmm. And I, as the person I am, don't feel like we could get that far. I feel like we would just be very emotional. We're both very emotional people mm-hmm. and it wouldn't work. Lindsay is extremely toxic. And Lindsay also is extremely <laughs> charming. So I feel like Lindsay is the most likely to break my heart. So therefore, it's a toss up. You ain't got nothing to worry about with me, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good question. I asked, I guess. All right. Does anyone else want to answer? <laughs> no. Honestly, I feel like you guys all have good and bad qualities that I would of course. both enjoy and not enjoy. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How she's making me look like a dick. I'm no, <laughs> I feel like you, Brandon, if I, the, the con of dating you would be you love you. Mm-hmm. And even though you love others, you love you. And yeah. I love me. So that wouldn't work. Right. You, you're too routine for me. Mm. I would be ditching you left and right and you would be pissed. And I would be like, but Bailey, I'm sick. I don't care. I made this dinner reservation. I, I, would, <laughs> I couldn't hear it. And then Casey. I don't really know if there's a real con. You're just too busy. You have too much going on and I need attention. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't deal with any of those things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I feel like me and Brandon, we fight the same way. So we always fight the same way. That's like why me and my boyfriend work is because I'm stubborn and he's not. So he'll just be like, okay, stop. And I'm like, damn, you're right. But if Mm -hmm. someone's like pushing me more, then I get more stubborn. But you have to be with someone who fights different or yep. else you're never going to get along. And I would like Lindsay more than she liked me. Oh, <laughs> I like you a lot, Brandon. Oh, thanks. Alrighty, girlies. Well, I'm going to wrap it up with the last question, but I would like to know, Brandon, hmm. cringiest drunk story. What'd you do? What happened? Oh, God. Sip or spill. Okay. Well, one time I was in a situation ship. And I went to Bottomless Brunch, actually, with Bailey and Casey. We went to a restaurant called Frame. We drank, we drank, we drank. Then we went to Vesper. 
This was a Sunday. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah, this was this was <laughs> a was different like, time. Yeah. Let me just put two years ago. Um, <laughs> after, I decided to meet a man who was not my situation ship at a bar, a very casual restaurant bar. I walked in drunk off my ass. I had no place being there. The guy that I was meeting was actually extremely kind and did not embarrass me at all. He was with his friend and they just thought I was hysterical, whatever. Unfortunately for me, I needed to go home, (laughs) but I didn't. And we were at a Mexican restaurant and I was starving. And the man next to me who was not with me, not at our party, got up to what I seemingly thought left. That does not excuse what I'm about to say. I decided to eat his chips and guac. Yep. Not my food. Not my food. (laughs) Not your party. (laughs) Not my party. I took his chips and guac and finished them, which is crazy. Disgusting on so many levels. The reason why I said I was in a situation ship was because what happens after this gets even worse. This man was not taking a phone call. Um, or no, he did not leave. He was actually outside taking a phone call. He comes back and he looks down at his empty bowl of chips and guac. And at that point, I turned to the guy that I had met there and I said, I have to leave. Oh, no. <laughs> I gotta go. I left. I was not talking to my situation ship um, and I was very sad about that. So I decided that I was going to go to Acme and buy him flowers. (laughs) (laughs) Then, luckily, I got multiple phone calls from friends who were concerned and said, don't do that. I'm walking up and down Fishtown, stumbling, crying. It was a hot mess. And that is something I will never live down. And now I get to share it with all of you girls at home. <laughs> Billy's crying. I will never forget the phone ringing. Flowers. He literally calls. He goes, oh, no. Lindsay, I, should I buy him flowers? I'm going to bring him flowers. <laughs> I said, don't do that. Do not do that. And on that note, we have spilled enough. And <laughs> I think some of us have sipped enough too. Um, some of us being me. So thank you guys for another fantastic episode of Between Us Girlies. And I beg, please, please, please 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 keep it between us girlies. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.